Good morning. Join me on this rainy day where I live for a story about the sheep who hatched an egg. Remember we talked about a donkey's egg. We learned quite some surprising things in that story and you will find out some new things in this one as well. You see the sheep and on top of the sheep's head is a bird hatching from an egg. So we'll learn how this comes about. But first, let me tell you, the author is Gemma Marino. And we look inside, we find out that the sheep's name is Lola. And Lola is proud of her extraordinary wool. After all, everyone on the farm tells her how beautiful she looks. And she spends hours brushing her wool to keep it shiny and silky until one day when the weather gets hot and all the sheep have to be sheared. Lola is upset about her wool being cut off and she hides herself. And from there, I'll just go on to the first page with illustration of Lola taking a bath, scrubbing her wool and here we see perfumes and all sorts of things that she uses. And over here, a hair dryer. Now we know this is a fun story and sheep don't really dry their own hair but or their wool, but we will learn something new about sheep in this story and also about hatching eggs. So we always begin at the beginning and that's on the left side of this page. We read left to right in our sentences. And we read the left page first and then the next page. So let's begin. Lola the sheep had extraordinary wool. It was shiny, it was silky, it was soft, and it never ever tangled. Lola spent hours washing, drying, and brushing her wool to make it absolutely perfect. She was number one. When she was finally ready, Lola loved walking through the farm. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't she perfect? Isn't her wool extraordinary? Said all the other sheep. And Lola felt proud and happy. She's even carrying her comb with her, just in case something gets out of place. But one hot day, something terrible happened. All the sheep had to have a haircut. Now, this is not the normal way. Maybe you know the normal way that sheep are sheared and have their hair cut. But in this story, there's a sheep barber with clippers, comb, and Lola is sitting there in a chair. And Lola's extraordinary wool was gone. Now you'll feel nice and cool, said the dog. But Lola felt ridiculous without her shiny, silky wool. And all she wanted to do was hide. Now the other um, sheep and the dog are sunbathing and playing around and know that you're not going to be sweaty any longer. So off she went to the far side of the hill where she waited and waited and waited. Little by little, her wool grew back. But, hmm, but what? Let's find out. Lola's wool didn't grow back shiny or silky. It wasn't even soft. It was wild, it was messy, and it tangled. It's horrible, cried Lola to the rabbit, who might have been a little disturbed to see Lola has broken her comb. She's so angry. 
Just then, a small, delicate egg landed on Lola's head. Look up, let me see. The bird's nest, the bird flying away, the egg plopped onto Lola's head. But her wool was now so thick that she didn't even notice the egg. The rabbit did. That night was very cold, but the little egg was safe and snug wrapped in Lola's messy wool. And there it stayed until Lola woke to find a small, excited chick sitting on her head. I think this means the chick is making sounds. What do you think? Maybe beep, beep, or chirp, chirp. I think that's a different kind. It's not a, a chicken. Um, it's a maybe a bluebird, no? It doesn't look like a robin or a bluebird. I'm not sure what kind of bird it is, but it's a baby bird and they're calling it a chick. Lola loved the chick's colorful feathers and its beautiful songs. And the chick loved Lola's kindness and her very messy wool. She's feeding it. It's so fluffy, it's so warm, your wool is extraordinary, said the chick each night. And Lola felt proud and happy to have helped her little friend. Lola and the chick had so much fun together. Each day the chick grew bigger and stronger. Oh my. Is it taking a flight, going away? and Lola grew bigger and fluffier, but the days were getting hotter and hotter. <sighs> I need a haircut, puffed Lola. I need to see the world, sang the bird. They both knew it was time to say goodbye. So the next day, they wished each other good luck and hoped they would meet again. I'm loving the illustrations in this book. Look at the bits of color here. The flowers and the different colors in the trees and in the bird. Now Lola felt nice and cool and she no longer missed her shiny silky wool. This time when it grew back, she hoped it would be wilder and fluffier than ever before. Why do you think she is happy this time for it to be wilder and fluffier than before? Are you thinking like myself? Yes, <laughs> and it was. And I guessed right, did you? She wanted more chicks, more birds to hatch in her woolly coat. This time she has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine birds. She's got quite a family there now. What a fun way to think about taking a problem or something you don't like and turning it around or having it be turned around to be something really, really fun, really, really good for you. I'm glad we read this book, The Sheep Who Hatched an Egg. I hope you'll come back and read it again, maybe someday when you're not feeling so bright and cheerful, it might cheer you up. Have a great day.